fish on. He hit it immediately when it hit the water. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 23,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it. But me and Blue Jays Outdoors are actually out here on the lake today. We are up north. It's around like 5, 30, 6 o'clock and we are fishing the afternoon bite. We're probably gonna be fishing till dark and a little after dark, seeing if we can catch anything at night here. We haven't even done that before, so it should be pretty fun, but we're gonna be chucking around a bunch of different lures today. I'm probably gonna be throwing around that Guggenbait's dart, then the clickbait, then just a bunch of other topwaters and everything. So hopefully we can get on a couple big fish today, but make sure to go subscribe to Blue Jays Outdoors. I'm always super grateful that he allows me to come out here and fish on his boat with him. So really, really appreciate it. Go subscribe to his channel. But we are out here and hopefully we can get it done today, get on a couple big ones for you guys. And I'm gonna start casting. He's already casting. So I can't let him beat me today. <laughs> Fish on. Fish on. Pink There we go. Well, I just heard one jump behind the boat. Dylan and I think this water's kind of shallow in here, but pink fluke has obviously been my go-to. You guys know that. So we got one. He'll click about a quarter of a pound, three quarters of a pound, half pound maybe. So skunks out of the box. guys so Dylan and I are in this kind of new area we've never fished before and I just picked up the pink motion uh, bladed jig and this bass just absolutely crushed this thing got a pink lure lipstick paddle tail look at the size of this bass heck yeah oh, come on. there we go guys that's a nice fish look at how healthy that fish is beautiful beautiful summertime fish look at the colors on that and these bass up in northern Michigan are special guys look at that fish how thick she is but yeah guys, we just started fishing this open water. The wind blowing shoreline's a little too shallow. So we're gonna have to get some pictures. But man, that's a nice quality fish. Not bad for the third fish of the day. So we'll get some pictures and get her back in the water. All right guys, we're gonna get this beautiful fish back in the water. Man, it's awesome. Brand new spot, Bill and I have never fished here before. Our first fish is a nice four pounder. So we're gonna get this fish back. Fish on guys, just started throwing that Guggen Bates dart. Blue Jays has been throwing his famous pink fluke around. So I figured I would pick up the, I'm not exactly sure the color. It's almost like a watermelon red or something, but just throwing that Guggen dart right there. Got the spear point hook in there. Just started using them not too long ago. And they're really, really nice hooks, but my first fish of the day. So pretty cool, but gonna put them back. Hopefully get on a couple big ones today. Them and then, like me and Hunter, they got us into eye cast. Oh shit, I just had it. Another one? Another one. I think I <laughs> What Is the? Is it a rock bass? <laughs> <laughs> or is it a bluegill? It's a bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good that hook is. Yeah, holy crap. The guy at the tackle store said guys catch them more on those than the whopper blobber. I mean, it's definitely got a different sound to it. Yeah. We're spotted. Yeah. There he is. Oh! 
<laughs> All right, guys, first bass on the Chapo. Got the bone Chapo on a referral from my buddy Gibson Tillman. Check this fish out. First fish ever on the Chapo. Working it like Dylan taught me. Actually, it wasn't just straight reeling it in. I was actually just kind of popping it back towards myself. Not a giant, but second cast with the Chapo, bone Chapo, number 90 or number 75, little, little guy. Fish want it, so. Skies have cleared up, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a nice afternoon. So we will get this fish unhooked and back in the water. That's good hooks. Holy crap, there we go. All right, cool. Yeah, nice little guy. And back in the water. There he goes. Reel it. I can't yeah. get it to plop that well. Yeah. Like on a spin rod. On a spin rod, oh, I, yeah. I can actually make it put a little better. Yeah. It? That was a big boil. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> this is me. Got him. Oh, got him. <laughs> Guys, I just picked up the Guggen Squad uh -huh. pound. I just picked up that lure and I just started casting it, chucking it around. I had a huge blow up um, a couple seconds ago, cast it back out there. Almost in the same area. I don't think it was the same fish. It's that other <laughs> that other blow up was freaking crazy but pretty nice fish i don't really want to stick my hands right there because that's a there's a lot of trouble hooks right there but gonna get this fish unhooked and put him back in the water nice one all right guys putting that fish back that was really cool just started there on that guggen squad hound just a couple casts and a fish so gonna keep chucking it around but putting this fish back Just like that. Fish on. <laughs> <You know. laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, guys, there's another one right there on that Guggen Squad Hound. I'm um, just chucking it around all these isolated reeds right here. And there's a ton of bait fish in here jumping around. So I figured the top water hound would work. Picked it up and uh, doing pretty good on it so far. I got a couple blow ups and a couple fish, so really cool, but I'm gonna put them back. A huge difference. There he is, got him. On the pink boot. So again, instead of asking yourself why I throw so much pink, you should ask yourself why you're not throwing more pink, but look it, have you ever caught a bass on a pink spook. This is a saltwater lure, and guess what? Bass love pink. Guys, this water's super clear. The water depth is probably like four feet and we can see the bottom. I don't care if the water's clear, if it's dirty, whatever, if it's stained, bass love pink. So if you're not throwing pink, I don't know what your problem is, but not a giant, the very first fish ever on a pink spook. Pick yourself up one today. You won't regret it, I promise. Let's get back in the water. Fish on! He hit it immediately when it hit the water. That's crazy, you know that this hound works. The Guggen Squad Hound. Right when it hit the water, the fish, I don't even know if I want to grab it. All the treble hooks on that thing, it's scary to grab the fish. Oh. Check that out guys, just fishing right around all these weeds out here. Um, me and Blue Jays Outdoors are out here. Make sure to go subscribe to his channel if you haven't already, but we're always out here um, catching a bunch of fish. But today I'm chucking around that Guggen Squad Hound and just working around all this grass and they're hitting it almost every cast. So pretty cool guys, but gonna put them back. All right guys, nice one. Having a blast out here today.
that does. Sandy are over here. Oh! Holy crap! He destroyed it. <laughs> oh! There you go. The hound gets him in the gets him in the boat. Check that out, guys. I thought it was a freaking monster blow up of a bass, but decent sized pike. Pretty cool. These things are freaking slimy creatures. I'm gonna throw them back in. That's a northern dude. <laughs> so, guys, Dylan and I are just getting ready for the night bite, and I had to pick up the pink fluke. And the last fish I caught on the pink fluke was a northern. And uh, yeah, now I got another northern, a little bit bigger one. But guys, sun's going down, it's a beautiful night. And uh, yeah, pink is still on fire. So I hope you guys are gonna start throwing more pink one of these days, because these fish definitely like it. And again, like I said earlier, this water is super clear. I mean, three, four foot of visibility, we can see the bottom. But yet these fish are still biting pink in clear water, so don't be afraid to throw. All right guys, I actually just picked up the pink clickbait. It just got dark. The sun actually just went down and I picked up the pink clickbait and it's catching them guys. I actually threw this out. Blue Jays Outdoors is the pink master. He made that clickbait for me. And first couple casts with it, really nice largemouth bass. So pretty cool, but he freaking destroyed it. Super cool, gonna put him back. Beautiful fish. All right guys, so guess what? The pink clickbait works in the dark. I don't care if it's clean water, dirty water, light or dark, you guys need to be throwing pink, but that's that motion fishing pink clickbait or uh, sorry, pink bladed jig they made for me with the lure lipstick, three inch paddle tail. But guys, this night bite is on fire. All right guys, we're gonna get this fish back in the water. Guys, this night bite is just heating up. It's just getting dark and the bass are chewing. 